Where the f did you find this photo? Claire, not Claire from Steps. <laughs> Is that legal? Is that not legal? But I'm Rylan, like. Hi MTV UK, I'm Rylan and I'm about to play Blind Rate. So I'm about to rank moments from my career that I have no idea what's coming up and I only get three chances to change that order. I ain't got a clue what's gonna happen. Here. So first up is Ryland's iconic TV moments. Right, let's play this game. Uh, winning Celebrity Big Brother. I mean, that, that's got to go at the top, surely. Like, yeah, absolutely. I won. Like, I'm a winner. Simple as that. Next one. Getting through to, oh. Getting through to X Factor live shows. Look at that blazer, my God. Oh my God, James looks like Deirdre Barlow. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm, go oh, I'm gonna say we love her because Nicole's in there as well. So I'm, just, I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna put that third, I think. Oh, what, but what's next? Oh, Cher. Yeah. I mean, she does love me. She won't leave me alone. It's probably outside now. Um, oh, Cher. I mean, it's Cher, but like, I got, oh. Right, I'm gonna put Cher second because it's Cher, um, and if I can't, then I, I might have to use a life. Let's see what's next. Performing with Rick. But that was like New Year's Eve. No one knew. Oh, but I'm just, I'm gonna put it mid, but I love Rick. I love Rick. It was an amazing time. I hadn't sung for like 10 years. Uh, no, I'm not gonna use a life yet. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna have to wait. Next one. Oh, perfect. You joking me? Hosting Dating Naked UK. Oh, do I want another series? Um, oh, I'm gonna have to use a life. Right, no, I'm not gonna use a life yet. I'm gonna put it just on the board and then I'm definitely gonna use a life because I need to change this order. God's sake, that's well out of order that you've done that, by the way. Okay, right, last one. Covering We Found Love, that can definitely go at the bottom. Right, I need to use a life now. Right, so I'm gonna move Dating Naked to second. Only because if I didn't win Celebrity Big Brother, I probably wouldn't be hosting Dating Naked. So I need to do this timeline wise. Then I'm gonna put, sure. Oh, no, it needs, to... I'm gonna upset people here. But then, but then getting through to the live shows means I wouldn't have won Celebrity Big Brother. Right, now I'm gonna leave that third. Cher, I'm sorry, can I put two on one line? Is that legal? Is that not legal? But I'm Rylan, like, host of this <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Right, I'm gonna do something controversial. The gays are gonna come for me, but I don't care. Me and Cher, we're like that. She won't leave me alone, but Rick's more local. I've got more chance of bumping into him and him having the ump, so that's my order. Most iconic TV moments, done. Don't hate me, Cher. I got you, babe. Okay, so this one is apparently my best looks. There's probably only one, and that's it. So here we go. <laughs> this, is, this is my first X Factor live show outfit when I sung gold, and that was a, a Chanel chainmail vest that they sent for me to wear, and I was like, oh my God, I've made it but I lost my nipples that night. This vest stole me of my nipples and they've only just grown back, like barely. I came off stage and I was like, oh, I'm sweating and it wasn't sweat, it was blood. But iconic look, iconic look, hated the hair. Let's go third with that. Let's go, oh, come on. Let's go third. Right, <laughs> I love it Harry's just standing there like, oh yeah. Right, next one. Oh my God, where did you find this? Where the f did you find this photo? Is this a f take? I, rem I look at me, I look like this. That was, <laughs> that was pre-X Factor. And that was a, a fake tan launch <laughs> that I went to. And I remember walking that, that was my mum's top. It, my, it was a dress and I tucked it in to make like a square cleavage. And those trousers were Versace for H&M and I thought I was rich. I thought I'd made it. 
and I think I'm wearing boxing boots. No, I'm not. I'm wearing like clown shoes with like laces all the way up. I'm going to have to put that at the bottom for now. That's got to go down there with Rihanna. How the f did you find that photo? Oh, okay. This is recent. I really liked how I looked this night with my outfit, but I didn't like the photos. So, I, I, do you know what? Oh, is that better than... No, the, the, the gold is more iconic than that. I'm going to have to put that full. Next one. Oh, my birthday night out. Found this the other day in a box, this outfit. That top came up to there on me, now it comes up to there on me. It's honestly like a sports bra now, like genuinely. I still think it was a good look. This was my birthday on X Factor and it got to six o'clock at night and I had no outfit. No one had thought to go and get me an outfit. So our hairdresser, Jamie Stevens, his salon was opposite Westfield. So I was in his salon having my hair whitened and he ran over to Westfield and just bought like a Smithy's fancy dress thing. And oh, it, it's quite iconic. But is it? I'm gonna have to use a life here, I think. I'm gonna, no, right, I'm not gonna use life. I'm just gonna put it, I'm gonna put it with share and then we're gonna come back to it. Next one. Oh, Barbie premiere. That's a good look. I went to Cowboy Ken. Oh, but is that more? Oh, I don't know. Right, I'm putting it second, but it's not staying there. Oh, no, no, I'm just gonna put him there, actually. Wait, last one. <laughs> You're the <laughs> taking. <laughs> they. <laughs> look at that fake Louis. Look at that. Look at that, B. That is, uh, uh, that's giving X Factor days. I've just come out of rehearsals, giving French vibes with my sunglasses on, it's probably down the rain. Right, okay, we need to use some lives. So I'm gonna use a life here. I am going to put the gold at the top because it was an iconic look and I did lose my nipples, but they have thrown back. I am gonna put Cowboy Ken second. Then we're gonna have the birthday look, iconic. We're then gonna have the other week. I really like that outfit. Then we're gonna have me at the fake tan launch pre Rylan fame with the Versace for H&M trainer, uh, trousers. And then this, I think I'm wearing Uggs there as well. Like metallic Uggs. That top I've rinsed and that jacket didn't fit me. So that's going right to the bottom. And that Louis, them handles fell off the day after that. Okay, so my next category is reality TV icons that I've got to rank, so here we go. GC, I mean, she is iconic. So she's like the mean queen. I'm gonna have to put her, she's got to go high. I'm gonna put a second for now, but I'm gonna have to use a life. I've got one more left. Hi, <laughs> Dean Spencer. I mean, I, I mean, I, I got three formal warnings from Big Brother for threatening to kill them in their sleep, but I do love them. Like, they were great TV, and it was a great final between me and them. Obviously, I won. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put them third for now. I'm gonna put them third for now, because they're, they're reality royalty. Next one. Pete Burns, straight at the top for me. Icon. Little fun fact, well, not fun, it's actually quite sad. Pete Burns' last ever performance was with me on Big Brother singing You Spin Me Round, which I also sang with Rick Astley. Hey look, correlation, it's quite crazy. Pete Burns, absolute icon, absolute icon. Nick, for f sake, oh this is hard. But do you know what, I'm gonna put Nick mid, and I'll tell you for why, I love Nick, she's a good friend of mine, but I don't see Nick as reality TV royalty, I see Nick as like a perfect pop star and the nicest woman, so I'm gonna put a mid for now anyway. I've got two left and I'm going to have to use a life here. Tiffany, f oh, Lord, I love Tiff. Oh, f right. Tiffany is going to have to go up there with the old maiden shoes. We're going to put her there with Gemma for the moment because them two in that series were brilliant. Who's my last one? Claire, not Claire from Steps. My sister. I've got to think logically because Claire can slap me and would. Claire Richard's mouth as well. Like, ah. I actually call her Claire Richard's mouth. Um, right, Nicole, I'm going to have to use a life. I'm right, I'm using my life. Nicole, I love you, but I'm putting you at the bottom because you're not reality TV royalty. You are Nicole Scherzinger. That's enough. Next up, I'm going to put Heidi and Spencer only because I won and you didn't, but I do actually love them and no hard feelings. Then 
Then I'm gonna put Clara because she was in my series of Big Brother um, and she, she didn't win, but she did win in the end because she got a little brother like me. And then Gemma and Tiffany. Pete's got to stay at the top. Gemma and Tiffany. And you sure I can't have them on the same line? You're f horrible. Tiffany was so funny. And that whole thing with Tiffany and Gemma was just iconic. But I think I'm gonna have to leave Gemma second just because of all the memes and everything else she's done. Tiffany's gonna hit me as well. Done. There we go. This is a awful game. Well, there you go, guys. That's me having a good old blind ray. Make sure you tune in to brand new Dating Naked streaming August the 23rd exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. I'll see you there. Watch like that.